in today's video we're going to be uh, showing how to do a UDT. Um, one of the most common applications uh, for using a, a UDT is, you know, just something that uh, you would use it for uh, basically something repetitive or something you needed a large scale of something. Uh, say for instance like motion commands. Um, so that's what we'll be showing today. Uh, basically making a UDT of motion uh, commands, you know, whether they be basic, on, off, reset type stuff, uh, basic movements, uh, group, and advanced. Uh, we'll just show the basic stuff. Um, advanced is more like, uh, you know, you're basically some things like uh, registration and stuff like that, but we'll be using a uh, emulator processor. Um, you know, I'm not probably not going to get online with it, but uh, just to show you that, you know, that, that's what I'm using, and I am using version 20, so um, I, I've already started the process basically just open up the program. Uh, it's a brand new file, so uh, we'll get started. So motion UDT, and what we'll do is we'll show how to use it, uh, how to make it, and then we'll come back on the next video and actually show um, how to use it. So the chassis size um, basically is, you know, whatever you're using, of course, but um, in our case we're using the emulator version 20. Uh, we named our processor. We'll get, you know, start it. And I'll go ahead and start structuring this so that basically the, on the next video it will be um, exactly what we, we can carry on, you know, from, from when we left off on this one. So right now it's, it's uh, you know, making the program. And we'll come in, and the first thing I like to do is change my main task from a continuous to a periodic. That's just my preference. Uh, you, can, you can have it what you want, but... I feel like it's better to time motion under periodics. So I do that to begin with. Um, and basically you come in here and add whatever your IO you, or whatever you need to, but in our case we're not going to do that on this video. So uh, <clears throat> just to kind of highlight uh, what you need to do on any kind of motion is uh, enable your time sync uh, synchronization. And basically what that does is it makes sure that everything knows, uh, all the servo drives know that um, they're following the time clock of the processor that you're, you're actually uh, programming right now. So at this point, um, you basically go down to, if you're making a UDT, you basically want to go to uh, data types and you'll see uh, user defined. That's basically the kind of like what the uh, abbreviation is, right? UDT. Um, but you open that up, or you, you click uh, New Data Type, <clears throat> or if you have one, you can import it to, you know, I mean, that's, that's pretty easy. Um, but if, if you don't have an existing one, you can just type in, you know, whatever you want. Um, we're going to call this Motion, Motion, uh, and we'll just call it UDT. I mean, so what we want to do first is... Um, in this instance, we're going to show the, all the basic stuff, right? So the, the ons, the off, the motion actually shut down, the shutdown reset, the fault reset. Um, we're going to show some basic movements. We're going to show the, um, you know, like the stops, the homes, the jogs, uh, MAMs, uh, the motion axis gear, uh, motion axis, uh, like a dynamic change and stuff like that. So first off, what you want to do is, is you want to you know, type in what they are. Um, if you want to keep it simple, you can. You can put this. You can make the name whatever you want to. Just make sure you put your data type um, is exactly what it is. Um, you know, for axis and stuff like that. So you want to put in, uh, you know, for the 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 motion. I want to say it's going to be so motion instruction. So under motion instruction, you'll keep that and you'll put it right here. And under that, you would, you basically can, you'll have your, your motion instruction, right? Um, you're calling it the, uh, in, in our case, we named it the uh, motion axis on, which is the MSO, uh, motion instruction. Uh, you can change, you know, if you're using a group or you're using whatever you're, you're using. Um, of course, you're, we're going to be in instruction. Uh, you can put as many types as you want. I would prefer 
that uh, in my case, well, really what I do is, is I make this a little deeper than just one element. I put it as, like, say, for instance, if I'm going to use use this for multiple things for multiple times, I'm going to put it as, say, 10 or so, right? Um, just to kind of give myself a growing room. You know, most applications, generally speaking, you have about 10 or, or so, or maybe even less. You may have more, but it really depends on your, your situation. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll put in the uh, next one. I'll just kind of go through these real quick. <clears throat> the motion axis off. Uh, again, we'll we'll come in and and make this the same same style. Kind of throw these in real quick. And so we'll do a motion axis shutdown. And uh, again, the, the depth is, is what's important. So we'll, we'll go through and I'm just going to type these real quick so you might, might have a, a point that it's kind of kind of quiet. So you just kind of bear with me if you would. So these are the basic uh, uh, on, off, and this is the sh uh, motion axis shutdown, motion axis um, shutdown reset, and then we'll have one more basic. Um, this is the motion axis fault reset, and then again we'll throw that in there. So you can have this, and you can actually just break down and name this like. Uh, uh, like on offs and stuff like that so you could change this UDT and like change the title up here in the description uh, for our case we're going to add everything else so the motion axis stop um, we're going to have the motion axis uh, the home I believe the next one I'm going to do is the home so motion axis home and then we'll do we'll continue this on so we'll do a jog command next and then we'll come in and throw in the uh, MAM which is a motion axis move, uh, like it seems that you're doing different kind of moves and stuff of, of that nature. But you want to kind of give yourself a, the flexibility to do whatever you want to do without having to come back and, and edit this UDT at any given time. Kind of build it, you know, as robust as you can. You know, you never know what you're going to run into, uh, especially program motion that you might need. And you don't, if you have it already structured, then, you know, why have some kind of uh, instruction is kind of not not part of it or you have to go back and add it later so so it's best just to keep them keep them lined up as best you can because you never know what you're going to run to and I need to put my my uh, arrays or my how many instances I'm using on the rest of these so you can make the instructions and come back and or and then come back and, and make the, the dim a little deeper later. <clears throat> okay, so we have uh, motion axis. Uh, all right, so now this should be just about all your basics. So if you wanted to put like up here, you would call this like basic or something basic motion UDT and that way you come down here and, and you hit uh, apply and as soon as you apply that and hit OK now you have your UDTs um, you now you have your your motion axis uh, UDT and you can take this and actually export it if you want to like and use it in different so you don't have to make it every time you have a program but you can export this and put it under you know wherever you want to and then 
take it back and put it into a different program uh, in any given time. So real quick we'll just show how to export it and it is pretty quick as far as that goes. Uh, so you'll see that I have my motion, my basic motion uh, UDT uh, L5X, that's a file. And you can, so if I completely deleted this, right, if I completely said, well, you know what, I don't want that. But now I have it exported, so if I import it, you know, say this was a brand new program or something, I can import it, just come back in here, import, it's going to ask me basically my information on it, if I want to keep the same name, if I want to create it, or discard uh, properties. I mean, kind of go in there and, and you know, look at the base. This is pretty basic, though. So you just hit OK. Uh, it's going to create everything. And again, it's right back in the program. So you don't have to worry about that. So I, I kind of recommend, if you're, you're going ahead and doing the, the legwork, you might as well go ahead and do a, an export and back it up, save it. If that's what you, you know, you're going to be using. So real quick, I just wanted to show, you know, how to make a, uh, a UDT, a, a user-defined data type. And uh, the basic, you know, a, a good Im implementation of this is going to be the motion uh, commands or something like that. And this, again, is the basic motion. Uh, we can make another one for advanced um, or group or something like that. So if we wanted to have another one, we could say uh, group motion UDT. And then we can come in and throw different stuff like that as, as far as like... Uh, like just different uh, group stuff. So I believe it's, you know, motion group. Um, and, you know, again, that would, that shows all your, your motion group stuff. And you can make this, um, I don't think you can change the dim on this. So being that you're, you're only going to have, generally speaking, you're only going to have one group of motion. I mean, I guess you could have more. But um, most of the time, I haven't really, I haven't seen an application that has more. So, not to say it couldn't be done, but I would suggest that. I mean, if you're using different groups and stuff, you need to probably have different processors. So, and these are just the basic. Uh, Kind of the same thing, right? And I always, always want to put that A in there. I'm sorry. So, but just make sure you, you type in the right stuff, so you know what it is later. So motion group, and then there's there's one last one. So we'll put in. So this is this is pretty simple as far as the groups. Uh, you have advanced stuff too, as far as that goes. So. Uh, apply again. Um, I want to say. What did it say there? All right, a member of the user defined cannot be. Yeah. Okay. So I believe this is telling me that your the groups um, is not a good instance in our 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 instance of making a uh, a UDT. So. Let's try some of the advanced stuff. It will help if I spelled correctly. So, real quick, we'll just come in here and, and uh, change these to like a MAW and then put motion. Again, we'll put the data type a little deep. Uh, we'll do a uh, MDW and it will come back and make the the dim a little deeper, so the dimensions. And this is dealing with basically like motion axis, uh, like the advanced stuff is like motion axis uh, registration arms and stuff like that. Uh, but you not to say you know you could be using it for anything, so might as well make them. Okay. 
and I put the one as average, so I need to fix that real quick. So the good thing about being offline is if you're trying to do this, you can you come in here and, and uh, you know, change it if you need to. So with that said, uh, we'll go ahead and export this again. Um, you know, just because we made it, we've already did the, the, the work for it. So let's go ahead and, and make sure we, we do a good backup of it. So we'll just click export straight to desktop. And that's uh, basically how you, you make a UDT. So we have our advanced UDT. Uh, we have our basic UDT. Um, and this is, again, a motion application. So we want to kind of have everything we possibly could need. Um, and if there's anything that, you know, you have any questions about or, or Anything you'd like to see a little bit more in depth as far as maybe a different UDT or something of that nature, um, you know, just feel free to drop a, a line in the show notes below or comments. And uh, I'll, I'll be putting a link to the next video as far as that goes in the, the show notes below so that you can continue on with, you know, how to use the UDT, how to uh, progress and, and make it more modular. So uh, if you're making a bigger program, you can, you can kind of grow on it. Um, and kind of make it so you don't constantly have to keep editing and editing. You can just kind of just go through and just, you know, cut cut and paste and, and uh, make this like a, a modular program scenario. So real quick, uh, just kind of go over it. Uh, that was how to do our UDT. And uh, hope that helps you. And just leave some uh, information in the show notes below if you'd like to see more or maybe a different topic. And uh, again, I appreciate your time. All right, thank you.